I always forget to take my vitamin pills. It's insane. I try to make like a habit of doing it after I have my breakfast and then while I have my tea and such. <sighs> but it didn't work. I think I need to find some solution to like take the pills out in the open somewhere or like make a habit of taking the pills in a little thing before I go to bed in the evening. I don't know. Anyways, we spent literally the full first half of the day cleaning the house because this um, weekend, not weekend, but the following days are Seolnal here in Korea or Chinese Lunar New Year. We are going into the year of the tiger, which is actually my sign. I'm a tiger, so that means technically that it's like a um, new beginning, a new cycle, whatever for me at least. So all of my other 98 babies, happy new beginnings. <laughs> I've prepared a little list this morning as well for groceries that we need to get. So we're actually heading out to the Hyundai Seoul. By the way, I just um, cleaned the fridge because it looked like a mess. And now look at this. Mama, mama. I'm so excited about having a fridge that's like organized like this. As you can see, we have literally nothing in the fridge. But um, as for going grocery shopping now, that's probably fine. But Stephanie gave me these, uh, she had some extra excess of these like organizers for the fridge and um, I did it this morning and <laughs> it looks so good. I am so glad. I am literally getting the chills. I don't know. I'm just such a sucker for organizing. Oh, I need to show you the office as well because I organized my skincare and it looks so good. This is the lowest um, level of the shelf unit and I got extra of these little boxes here so we have all sorts of cute little colors and I organized all of the skincare products via type of product. So we have cleanser, mask, toner, serum, cream and then current sponsored products that I'm uh, currently doing collaborations with are over here. So they look so cute and beautiful with these colors. <laughs> Huh? Show me your shirt. Woo! Look at this man in color. <laughs> Good. This is the outfit of today. Put on a cardigan for some warmth. for a birthday present to Jake's dad. Thinking about an espresso machine, maybe? <laughs> Should we get drunk? <laughs> well, okay, I like that. We can't do dinner, so why don't we get drunk and drunk? <laughs> Should we do that? <laughs> I was just thinking about it. <laughs> and then shot them, it's gonna be easier. We'll be like, yo, we need to buy this, let's go. Oh my god, we're gonna buy him like, Huge stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna come back. We're, we're gonna buy it up for sure. Okay, okay? I like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, should we get him a little like to go my one too for his job so he can make it he in the morning? I wanted this last year. Oh, really? Yeah. Did someone give it to him? No, I mean, I wanted it from me, but no. Yeah, that's a really good, um, good size. Yeah, and real. then he can head out to work with. FM, ah. Uh, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> oh my god, it's Korean. Ah, it's not Korean. 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 Do your best. You translated all of this to do your best? That's, that's basically what it is. Oh man. 
Okay. Well, this was uh, anti-climatic. <laughs> Okay, um, we're back from the Hyundai and we got so many things. I think it was a really successful trip. We got some birthday gifts for Jake's dad and some gifts for his mom and his emo. So I wanted to prepare the dessert for tomorrow because I want to make silken tofu chocolate mousse. I found this girl on Instagram. Let me actually give you her name. She has like such good recipes and she's so... Um, what is it called? She has a lot of like good fantasy. Wait, what? what's wrong with my English? Her name is Carolina Galen. Carolina Galen? I'm not sure. This girl. You should definitely check her out. She has really cool recipes. So this is the first time I'm trying to follow one of them. And it's with tofu and dark chocolate and some maple syrup and such and that'll basically just make a little mousse and it's good that it should stand in the fridge overnight so that's why I'm just doing it tonight okay let's get cooking Ew, this literally looks like you're popping a pimple Ugh. I put on a lot of clothes, that's why. <laughs> Good morning. I'm so tired. Jake couldn't really sleep um, tonight, so I kind of woke up because he was awake and then I couldn't fall asleep again. So I'm like, ugh, I'm so tired. But I'm uh, at a studio this morning to film some Instagram collaboration. So I'm gonna do that and maybe take some photos. The studio is really, really, really cute. Actually, I kind of want to show it to you guys. Let me show you. I have all of my little stuff in there already, but this is basically the main area. Ooh, look at this decoration. Usually, um, Studios doesn't really have real flowers, but this one has real flowers everywhere. It's so cute. And then I high key really, really want this chair. It's so cute. And with that little lamp, mm, so pretty. Gaga, she's like wearing meat skins, you know? I mean, Anyone who's doing something that is Okay, I'm done. Bye bye, studio. I'm gonna go home and take a nap. Oh. I didn't get to nap, but I feel like I've like lived up a little bit, so I have more energy than I had before. Maybe not more energy, but I'm not close to passing out. <laughs> I really do need my at least seven to eight hours, unless I just like, I can't function. I cleaned the kitchen and I got dressed. I ended up putting on this like long black dress. Um, I, I think I might be a little bit overdressed, honestly, but I don't really know. I have never spent Solnar with 
Korean family before. I've only ever spent it with my foreign friends here because I didn't really have any Korean family who invited me. And now we have Jake's family who doesn't really like, they don't really care much for traditions. For like public holidays like this, they'll all meet and such, but they don't really follow traditions that, that like strongly. So, <laughs> like that's why I'm gonna cook for them. Obviously there's a tradition here in Korea that's like you eat tteokguk for Seolnai, which is like a tteok soup, but I don't know how to make that. And since they asked me to cook, I'm just gonna cook Western food, <laughs> which is what I do best, you know? By the way, to whoever recommended me um, tea tree oil for my like piercing balm, I fucking love you. This stuff works so well. I don't know if you can see here my piercing bump. It's almost, almost gone. Now I just have like little red spots here, which is from the tea tree oil cause concentrated tea tree oil isn't really the best for your skin. Um, but it's worth it if it makes my bum disappear, which it looks like it is. Then I can change my piercing to a ring soon. That'll be interesting. So <laughs> actually in September, I think it's September for Chuseok, which is also a Korean holiday, which is like the Korean Thanksgiving, I guess. Um, I cooked for Jake's family as well. I literally cooked chicken and pasta. <laughs> they liked it. I mean, that's what, that's what matters. I do want to learn how to make these Korean foods, but honestly, his family even doesn't really cook either. So I guess this is what they have left with me and my pasta. <laughs> you know, I'm actually starting to really like this new stud on my nose. I know that when I first got a piercing, um, I told everyone that I was a bit sad that I couldn't go straight to a ring because I didn't really think that I liked the studs, but honestly, I'm falling in love with it a lot. And now I'm kind of in doubt that I would love a ring just as much, but obviously I do want to change just to see how it looks and also get the feel that I always wanted with the ring. Um, and then I can switch back and forth. Obviously I would want to have like a new stud because this one is so big. It's like the beginning one. It looks like I have a metal booger in my nose. <laughs> so I really, I, I need a smaller one for sure. What do you think about my new earrings? I got these ones from my dad. My dad sent them over um, in a Christmas present. I just got it maybe a couple of weeks ago. My dad has always been so good at finding jewelry for me. He knows my style so, so precisely. Okay, let's go back to the family conversation because I don't know if it's just me or and like the people that I follow online, but there's like a handful of people on YouTube and Instagram that I really love to follow, like Taylor R, Sarah Stay from Australia, Jen Im. These kind of people, I always watch their videos, right? And the common factor in all of these people right now is that they're either pregnant or just gave birth to a baby. What is going on? Like everyone around me on social media, also in my friend group, like both from Denmark, people are announcing their pregnancies and also Erna just gave birth to her beautiful baby. And like, there are so many babies around me right now. And I'm not gonna lie, um, I definitely feel that my body is in its prime baby time right now, like biologically speaking, not mentally speaking, obviously. Um, but seriously, it's so crazy. I was having a conversation with Sile a couple of weeks ago where we were sitting um, and having a coffee together in the morning and we started talking about babies and how we would raise them, how we would want to give birth, like names, these kind of things. And <laughs> we both just looked at each other and we started crying. I don't know, we're just, we're very sentimental, especially together, uh, me and her, and we just couldn't hold it in. It was just like, wow, we're both, excited to have kids. I was about to say together. I mean, that would be nice if we could have kids together, but um, it's crazy. I mean, if I were to get pregnant right now, I think I would be ready in like, as my mindset, my maturity and my like situation and such, I would be ready. But 
I wouldn't want to, you know, there's um, a lot of things that I want to do first and I think just like conveniently wise, like I obviously would want to wait at least like five years time, but it's just insane how as a woman you can literally feel this clock not really clock because I'm in the beginning of my prime time, but like you can feel it. I can literally feel it in my uterus, I feel like. <laughs> I think that's just more proof that I really need a dog. <laughs> I really need a dog because I'm literally scared that I'm gonna get a baby instead if I don't get a dog. Well, that's not true. I trust myself. But still, you know, it's difficult when everyone around you is getting fucking pregnant. Oh my god. How about you? Have you ever experienced that? Like, have you come to that point in your life? I know that it's a common misconception that, you know, the society thinks all women will have this feeling. That's a lie. Okay, eyes are done. I'm moving on to my cheeks. I kind of like went with a rosy, smoky look. So I'm using a Dear Dahlia Russet Caramel as well for my cheeks. It's kind of brownish, but still rose. Oh. I don't often do powdered cheeks, but today, since I don't have any pimples on my cheeks, I want to use it. Usually I use cream blush if I have pimples. Oh God, what did I just do there? And then lastly, the lipstick. I also am going with... Um, Dear Dahlia, this one is called Sweet Toffee. I think both the eyeshadow palette, the blush, and also this one is for their, was it Autumn Collection last year? Pretty sure. Here we have the makeup look for Sarnal. I'm gonna go prep the ingredients because Jake is on his way with his parents now, so. Better get chopping. Dinner went really well and um, thankfully 
They really liked my food. They did. Yeah. It was good, huh? I feel like I kind of want to cook these kind of things again. Yeah. Especially the cauliflower was so good. It was really good, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm so happy. Now, um... <laughs> Jake is laying like... Draw me like one of your French girls. And I'm playing Genshin. For people who are also playing, because I realized every time I mention that I'm playing, people are really curious since it's such a popular game. Um, I am in level adventure level 42 i just reached it and yeah i'm currently just doing the event that's going on right now <laughs> baby i'm so tired <laughs> i like my eyes are barely yeah, open tired, 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 right? yeah i'm definitely gonna sleep well <laughs> didn't they say that they were gonna in this month for sure yeah they're gonna open it mm. really mm. are you 100 percent sure yeah. within this month but i'll update you with the with their third figure and i'll define a date thank god yeah. fuck you finally fuck wait you mean within the next one right within february this yeah. month yeah maybe it's not february yet it's February in 50 Tomorrow. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 